Good morning lovely people and welcome to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'm Nat, this is a Knackers Yard and this is the SV650. Right, so the charging issues, the observant will notice the big cans back on. Um, that's for the sake of my neighbours more than anything else. Um, uh, I think it was Dan Barnes that mentioned it actually, but one of the, one of the comments on the last SV um, video was um, you must have very tolerant neighbours. Um, yeah, I have. And they probably wouldn't be that tolerant for too long if I just left it running on the little can. So yeah, it's a less than a minute job to slip one off and shut the other one back on. And it's a lot quieter. So yeah, I am going to return to the little boy, uh, the little loud boy. But um, this is just while I arse around with it, <coughs> just so I don't annoy the neighbours too much. Um, right, the charging issues. I went back to my old video stock, actually. Um, well, I couldn't quite work out what rectifier I ended up with or my thought process for going back to an SV650 rectifier that you can see behind there. Um, when it came with an old, let's see if I can dig it out of the cupboard, out of the cupboard, out there. My uh, wonderful box of electrics, there we go. And it came with that, which I initially thought was the correct rectifier for it and later found out that actually it's a CBR900 rectifier. Um, so the order of events was, because it wasn't working at the time, I ordered a new CDI and a new rectifier. I ordered um, the SV650 of both. That came, it didn't plug in because it had been uh, rewired to accept that. So when I went through the rewiring of the uh, CDI and cutting off the burnt one that was on here before, <coughs> I was just going to tidy up the rectifier wiring and it was an absolute cluster it was a real and i think more out of frustration than anything else i thought rather than chase a cluster i'll just return it to stock and put the original back in now what i think i've done is added an error because sv650 rectifiers uh, regulated rectifiers are notoriously bad for blowing and um they're, yeah they're <laughs> They're almost like disposable stock that you put them in and take them out and put them in and take them out. Uh, so what? I'm going to return to what it was. I do have a new, uh, yeah, which is what I was going to put in to start with the CBR 900 one. Um, what I've done is just wired it up so that I can plug it in and plug it out um, in case it doesn't work. Looking up on various sites, it looks like any three, so wiring wise and see up here the black one so you've got the three yellows going into one cluster and two uh, uh, going into the other one's earth one's live is my guess on that um, <coughs> yeah so I've got three in here one live one earth assuming that the green is earth uh, and the red is live um, Various sites say different things. One suggests doing it straight to the battery uh, and putting an inline um, fuse in it. Others don't, so I thought I'll go for a bit of both and just stick an inline fuse anyway, because when I was last arsing around with it, it just kept blowing the main fuse, so should be a 30 amp. I haven't got one. I think that's a 20. Yeah, it's a 20. Um, so we'll see. I might not even use it. But first things first, let's just see how this reacts to engine on and the like. Be right back. All right, so that's you staring straight at my voltmeter. Um, and let's see how we get on. So we go power on, lights off, power on. A bit of a flicker, but not a lot. Uh, might give it a bit of choke. It's nice, it's a beautiful warm day. It's the first day for a long time. I've not worn a jumper outside anyway. Right. bit of a voltage drop when it's on load which isn't overly surprising so much quieter that I would not be able to talk to you while I'm doing that with the other exhaust on so that's 12.4 12.5 I'm just going to give it a bit of throttle to see if any of that changes
so absolutely no adjustment no change at all with throttle so it is not charging so it's either the stator or it's that regulator rectifier now um oh terrible names jazz point can't remember i think it was jazz point um uh on the site commented and said uh, had exactly the same uh, went through three rectifiers before swapping it out for something else and i think it actually was a cbr as well um it just seems to be a, a common fault on svs that the rectifiers just blow so what what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do what am i gonna do um i'm gonna try and leave that plugged in no I, i'll just plug it back in again later um my battery extension cables there are proving worth their weight in gold um so i want to be able to return if it all goes horribly wrong so i'm going to go for a snip uh, of the three yellows well actually i'm going to unplug it snip the three yellows snip the two colors um you notice that i've put some sockets on these I just I want the ability to return back so there's no point and it's a top tip whatever you're playing with worrying don't cut stuff right at the top or right at the bottom because if you do need to go back on yourself you've lost any scope you've got to play uh, later right so I'm going to unplug to unscrew and then start wiring that up be right back all right so literally 10 minutes later so I was on like that I've snipped the cables through put some adapter pieces on them and plug back in right now <coughs> according to everything I've read it doesn't matter which way around these three yellows go but we shall see right I mean this is a temporary issue or a temporary job while I work out whether or not that is the issue, the concern. All right, so let's just red to live through the fuse, just in case. Black to earth. Uh, I don't know if the actual unit needs to be earthed, but I've got it here, so why wouldn't you? To quote Charlie, at this stage you'll be daft not to. Oh. Just, uh, obviously that's going to be, assuming this works, that's going to be bolted into the bike, so, uh, into the frame. So it doesn't need to be perfect for now, I just want a half decent connection on the outside. Right, that's it. Literally that long. Um, let's live like try and get a voltage reading oh, look at that you can actually see it as well come on yes swine really should get a voltmeter with like little clips or I might just have to make up some little clips all right <clears throat> so at least I've got a connection there. Let's see if I get anything. So power on, engine on.
try the power off. I know this shouldn't make a difference, but it would be foolish not to try. certainly putting charge back into the battery so I think I've cracked it but it doesn't seem to I would have expected to do more on revs I don't know people what do you think because that is charging up but nowhere near as quick as I'd expected we also well, I've no idea I'm so, yeah it also gets warm as you like so there's a reason why it was out on its own, not rested up against stuff as it currently is. Um, right, I'm going to put that in properly, lay it all down. I'm going to leave it on the temporaries for now. What do you think, people? Is that normal? It seems normal to me. It is taking charge and accepting charge. 
think the biggest tell is going to be after a short ride to see check the voltage before and after so I think that's going to be closer play today is doing exactly that hmm yeah interesting right um yeah come back to me is that normal it is accepting charges it doesn't seem to be doing it on revs cool okay i realized one of the things i do dislike about this is this bike is everything turns into an epic uh, so i've changed over the front um, uh, coil i've used the existing ht cable uh, 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 ht line because i couldn't be asked taking it out I don't know if it's made any difference at all. I might have done actually. Still got a little bit. Um, sorted out all the air intakes as well. Uh, I tried to sort out that sticky accelerator and it's just got worse. Um, I've tried to do it from the bottom end, uh, I'm going to have to do it from the top, so I'm going to have to whip the cables off. And just, I, I'm, I'm sure it's not the cables, but the cables aren't great. So, um, I do have a cable tool I did end up using, to be honest, because it's nice and open at that end. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do something, because that's just dangerous. Um, but, yeah, I might have sorted out that little... Yeah, it's still there. It's not bad. A little occasional misfire. Which is frustrating. Um, let's chuck a meter on. Volt meter on. Tell me what you think. This is definitely, well, there's definitely, I think there's something going on here. And I still don't know what it is. Come on, you swine. You can tell I'm frustrated at chasing that sticky throttle around. tried everything in there and it's just pissed me off. I've forgotten how much this bike gets to me. I don't know what it is about it. anywhere near as efficient as it should be. I'm tempted to just take it for a pinball, but I, I think I've more than overdone my time today, and I don't think I'm going to be playing tomorrow. So, what do you reckon, people? It seems to be holding charge, and it seems to be ramping it up again. Um, 12.5, yeah, I think I might chuck the battery on charge tonight and see what happens. So, still got that, excuse my French, misfire, the throttle is still sticking, ah, this bike just doesn't like me, doesn't like me. So it's all the air passages are sorted in there change the coil but not the HC lead so there's a possibility there 
could even just be the spark plug. I'm sure the air intakes are all nice and sealed now. I did find a couple of issues in there. holding volts, it's holding charge. Those numbers just seem a bit low and I'm getting no increase by the uh, rotten. I'm just wondering whether or not I do. gambling ads say. Right, that'll do me for the day. Cheers all. Catch you later. Okay, so took a bit of a break. Uh, chucked it on charge for a little while. Um, feeling better because it's just hanging around the same. It's not going up when I rev. struck me I've never done a calf sink on this and I do wonder if that periodic misfire might be cleared up with a uh, bit of a calf, um, calf sink. I've still got my tool over there and it might be a quick job for tomorrow. But yeah, I, I'm just answered on a postcard boys and girls. Um, is there something wrong here? I can't help but feel there is. I can't help but feel it's stator related, not rectifier related. Because it is doing the gradual charge on tick over, but that charge doesn't increase. That charge doesn't increase when you give it some welly. I just find that really weird. Very, very strange indeed. Right, okay, that'll do me for the day. Um, answer on a postcard, or better still, in the comments below. What do you reckon, people? Cheers all, catch you later.